you know, seeing what the hockey team did last night and, uh, and then the announcement today and just wishing, you know, nothing but the best uh, here moving forward with Coach Dillingham and he's going to bring great energy and his press conference was amazing. Uh, you know, certainly mine wasn't as stellar as his, so, uh, but, but he's, uh, you know, I think can infuse so much life into that program and just excited for it to see it happen. Um, as far as the game, uh, you know, I knew this was going to be a hard played game, very scrappy opponent, very similar to some other opponents we had. I, th I think even, you know, probably more formidable in, in certain ways. And uh, there was no quitting them, no giving them. They played the whole game just as I told our team, um, you know, before we, as we're preparing. Uh, Overall, just really pleased with our ball movement. I think, you know, 20 assists again. And it wasn't on scripted plays. It was on, like, guys in the transition, the open court, making great decisions, you know, the lobs and, and, and uh, just really, really good passing and unselfishness. You also held an opponent, I think, the second lowest civil percentage. Um, what you think about your defense? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you almost, I almost don't, initially talk about it anymore just because the, you, you look at the stat sheet and you see the assist total jump out and you say that's great you know we're playing team basketball but you know we can't take that for granted just how uh, how high level we are playing that end just you know unbelievable energy and uh, you know we have a, a deep team with a lot a lot of guys we could bring in and uh, so it's uh, and we got a lot of length around the basket so I think we could uh, hopefully we can continue to play that way at that end of the floor. No, the other games I watched with them, I mean, they went on the road and beat Wichita State. They, you know, I'm watching Ole Miss, and uh, it was a one-point game, like 10 minutes left. And, you know, they're, they're a hard team to put away, and, and, uh, and you're not going to put them away, you know, in a first-round knockout. They're not that t style of team. So um, I thought we had some shots that didn't fall, you know, from three in the first half that, that could have given us a little more separation. And... Uh, Certainly think we could have had double figure uh, advantage at halftime. I called, you know, one of the worst timeouts I've probably called since I've been here. What about more Washington teams? Earlier games, some foul trouble, some other, you know, maybe not getting the ball a lot, but in this game, a lot of those, those PNR situations were very good. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a really, he's a big target. Guys are knowing, and, and it's, it's a matter of getting a feel for playing with him. And him and Zoe could really, you know, climb the ladder and go get the ball. and. Uh, you know, he was he really ran the floor well. I, I thought we, we outran their bigs and uh, and Warren was definitely a part of that. So I was happy to see him again put another, you know, solid game together for us. How does that feel as a coach when you probably ever really have had that capability in a few years? Yeah, and you got some guards that they could pass and you got some guys that could score and I and um and Des already has that connection with Warren to find him from years of playing together and uh and I think guys are, again, gaining confidence knowing that they could get him the ball and he's going to finish around the basket. The points in the paint was great, like 24 to 6, I think it was at halftime. So we, that's where we started you know, building our advantage. It seems when you're, when you're playing that way that it's more repeatable, that you guys can, you guys can sustain that. I, mean, I, I think it starts with how we defend, and you, you brought it up, Chris. So it was, you know, if, if we guard like that every game, we're going to get stops, and then we're going to get in the open court. and. Then we could, you know, go on some of those scoring runs like we did in the first half if, if we make that commitment. And so far, like every game we have, um, you know, not so much at times at Texas Southern, especially late in the game, but for the most part all year we've, we've guarded. Pretty pleased where the team is going into conference play now? Yeah, we touched on it briefly, and I didn't want to, a part of me wanted to bring it up as we prepare for this, what a big week it is, you know, with three games Sunday to Sunday and two of them being Pac-12 games, but just kind of, Brought it to everyone's attention. Got to got to ramp it up. Take it to another level. How important it is to try and get off to a good start in in, in the regular season here this week.